Hi, today we are going to see about noun. You know what is noun? A noun is a word used to name a person, animal, place, thing, and abstract idea. For example, teacher, tire, school, car, health, happiness. So now let us see here some types of noun. Okay. So first one, common nouns, proper nouns, collective nouns, material nouns, abstract nouns. So now let me say, let me explain about first common nouns. What is a common noun? So things which are common, common. Okay. Uh, so let me give now definition for common nouns. A common noun is a word that does not refer to any particular person, place or things. It gives a common name to a person, place, animal, for example, pen, town, village. And if you see, the common nouns are not capitalized. Okay. So here are some examples for that common nouns. The boy lives in a city. He is a farmer. I have a pet dog. Please give me a candy. So here if you see the city, farmer and dog candy. So these all are examples for common nouns and they are not beginning with the capital letter. Okay. So next if you see proper noun. What is a proper noun? So proper noun if you see it always begins with the capital letter. And if you see a proper noun is a noun that names some particular or special place, person, people or thing. Okay. So it is telling about particular things or place or person. Then that is called a proper noun. So here are some examples for proper noun. The boy threw the ball to his dog, Tommy. I would like to, I would like you to meet my friend Sham. My second grade teacher was Mrs. Gilbert. So these all are proper noun. Next, let us see ex about collecting nouns. So what do you mean by collecting nouns? So this noun is telling about group of the things. Okay. So for a simple example, students, teachers, family. So these all are examples for collecting noun. So if you see in the definition for collecting nouns, a collecting noun is a noun naming a group of things, animals, person. For example, army, company, school, board, council, family. And here some examples for common noun. The team won championship. Our family always eat together on Sunday. David is teaching a class of students. So here if you see team, family, class of students. These all are collecting nouns. Okay. Next we will see about material nouns. So what do you mean material nouns? So this noun is saying about metals or any materials. Okay. For example, is gold, silver, steel, coal, copper. So now let's see the material nouns definition. Nouns that name materials or substances that we see and touch are, are ingredients for making things. Okay. So some things are there for rings or chain or door. Okay. Or a house. These things are made with some materials. Okay. So that is called a material nouns. Now let us see some examples here. The chair is made of wood. The cup is made of gold. The blackboard is made of cement. Iron is hard metal. I like your silver ring. So here if you see wood, gold, cement, iron, silver. These all are examples for material noun. Next if you see we are going to see about abstract nouns. So abstract nouns see there are some things which we cannot see or we cannot feel them or we, uh, we cannot touch them. Okay. So that things are called uh, abstract nouns. So first uh, let me say about the uh, definition. The nouns that name ideas, quality, feelings or a thing which cannot be touched or seen. So you know very well some things are there we cannot touch or we cannot see. Okay. That is called abstract noun. Example 
bravery, health, freedom. And here are some examples of this abstract nouns. Let me read now. We have to get at the truth of the matter. The people lost faith in the banks. She will defeat them. They laugh at my idea. So if you see here, the truth, faith, defeat, idea. These all are abstract nouns. Okay. So next day, let us see countable and uncountable nouns. So this you might have studied in the lower class. So you know very well about this one. Okay. Countable and uncountable nouns. So uh, let me explain about first countable noun. What is countable noun? So things which we can count very easily. Okay. If you see in the classroom, books are there, tables are there, benches are there. So we can count it very easily. Okay. For example, eggs also we can count it. And fruits also we can count it. Okay. And uh, any other vegetables also we can count it. So things which we can count very easily, that is called a countable noun. Next, see, uncountable nouns. There are some things we can see, but we cannot count it. Okay, for example, milk, sugar, salt, water, honey, rice, tea. So these things, we cannot count it. Okay, so they are called uncountable nouns. Okay, so here this class gets over. Thank you.